Hello, my magical beings. Uh, today is Thursday. It is the last day of June. And uh, I am on vacation. So, yeah, I've just been chilling and relaxing, reading, um, and just actually trying to like just relax and uh, yeah so I have one more box that I'm waiting for for my witchy subscription boxes for the month of uh, June I have some nature sounds playing in the background if you hear that so um, I just thought going with the theme of today's unboxing um, I felt like it fit. So, yes, um, I am Tammy. I am a practicing witch. Um, I have been for a few years. And if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are back visiting, hey, how y'all doing? Um, <clears throat> uh, on my channel, I can see my brain's on vacation. Um, I like to do witchy subscription unboxes. Um, I talk about the Sabbaths. Um, I didn't get to do the summer solstice Sabbath or Lithia or Midsummer, um, depending on what you call it. It was just kind of a really busy kind of chaotic month this month so um, I didn't get a chance to do it um, uh, but I will do it even though it's late so at least it's up you can kind of see so maybe for next year you know you can uh, plan something so um, I do crystal talk, tarot talk. Um, I am looking at doing a weekly reading um, on my channel just to kind of get me um, sorry, my daughter. Um, just to kind of get me um, doing my tarot uh, more, I guess, openly. Um, I've done a few readings for people, um, co-workers, um, who, like, um, uh, wasn't, um, uh, didn't have, like, a, like, huge relationship with other than you know hey good morning you know that kind of thing and word of mouth you know they asked me to do readings um, and I did a reading uh, for a few people separately uh, where I work and their readings actually came back very on point very accurate and really really helped them um, they offered to pay I refused to take payment uh, because for me I'm still um, I'm still learning my tarot um, and I guess my confidence level isn't quite up there where I would feel comfortable um, taking a payment um, for my readings. Um, I do really really good and you know I connect with my cards and I'm like on the ball doing my reading every day every day every day. Um, then I try doing weekly readings to do for the week. Um, something always comes up and kind of pulls me away um, from my divination. So that's kind of what happened the last month and a bit. Um, so now I'm trying to get back into it. Um, I am also back in witch school. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, here in Ottawa, uh, Canada, 
we have a witch school here uh, the lady who does it she does she also does it online so people you know around the globe can do it um, the one that I'm doing is in person um, I did attend this school and I actually graduated from this school back in March of 2020 but my eldest daughter is now attending witch school and my daughter and a dear friend of mine who actually who runs witch school um, really wanted me to be in witch school again just to kind of have that mother-daughter energy there um, and also with me being an experienced uh, witch just to kind of be there alongside her and kind of give my perspective from as an alumni um, so I thought, uh, one, it's up at her beautiful cabin in the woods around a fire. Hello. So, um, so I signed back up for it for a year and, um, I'm actually really enjoying it. I love being there for my, with my daughter and being there for her, you know, someone to do homework with. It, she has questions like I'm there you know so I I like that connection um, with the two of us going there and that's something that we do together every Sunday so <clears throat> um, so yeah I'm uh, now going into the second part of which school we do touch a lot on divination and stuff so I'm actually kind of excited for that um, I am going to be realigning myself <laughs> with uh, my divination work and uh, yeah I, I gotta figure something out so like I'm not being pulled away from it and uh, yeah I gotta I gotta figure something out about that because it really bothers me because I get there and then I'm like okay I'm gonna set the date where I'm gonna open up and you know take so many readings on this day and something comes up and something happens so I need that that needs to fix cuz you know I need to do this because I do um, want to be doing readings uh, like personal readings for people so it is something that I really, really do want to do. So, um, but yeah, so, sorry, I babbled, babble, babble, babbled. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, that happens a lot. I'll babble a lot and kind of go off, you know, do a little swerve. Um, so my videos do tend to be a little longer, but meh, it is what it is. So, today is my Witch Casket subscription. So this is how it comes. Um, so if you are a witch in the broom closet, um, it actually doesn't say anything on here whatsoever. It literally just has uh, Deborah Robinson on here, which, who is uh, one of the curators um, for the box. It's a mother-daughter um, company, but all of her family are involved um, with um, her company, uh, which just, which I absolutely love. I love the fact that like her sons are in there and involved in it, her daughter, like just everybody. And I, I think that um, it shows, you know, um, the other thing I really absolutely love and adore about this box, everything in this box is biodegradable, so it does not cause harm to um, our mother, you know, Mother Earth. Um, and each subscription box that is sold, she plants a tree. So they've, pa they've planted thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of trees um, I think they are up over a hundred thousand trees now I could be wrong I'd have to go through my email to get um, the exact amount but I know it's it's 
so many trees and I'm so thankful um, and grateful and have so much gratitude um, to be a part of that because I have been getting their subscription boxes um, almost two years now. It'll be two years in August that I've been getting their subscription boxes. So um, I will post all the links, everything down, down in the description part um, so you guys can order your own box. Um, I like um, that now they give us a little sneak peek of what the following month is and sometimes not every month sometimes they'll actually tell us what the theme is which I like so uh, for July um, it's potions the theme is potions so I'm actually super excited to see um, what they're going to be giving us for that um, I'm imagining like a potion bottle and just God knows but I'm super excited so box now I have had this for a few days I think I got it Monday or Tuesday um, and I just like I said it's vacation and I was sitting out front in the front of my house here just you know taking in the Sun just taking in you know the environment um, reading I'm uh, currently reading a book uh, I think it's downstairs um, of blood and bones or bone and bones and blood I can't remember and it's basically talking about the shadow um, side uh, the shadow aspect of um, our magic because you know how people say well there's white magic and there's dark magic or black magic whatever me personally um, I don't believe in either or like magic is magic um, it's all about your intent uh, me personally so um, I've gotten in a few little kind of disagreements about that with people um, and in all honesty um, you can't have light without the dark and vice versa you can't have you know dark without the light like you need both energies both energies have a positive and negative um, aspect to them um, and again as I say it all boils down to your intent right so um, and it, it goes the same thing with you know curses and hexes and all that stuff like it's a touchy subject in our uh, community um, you know especially if you do follow um, the Wiccan path uh, you know and the Wiccan read um, I uh, yeah I'll have to do a video more on that um, just I have a lot of opinions about it and um, you know again you know do you know, am I for, you know, hexing and cursing and banishing and all that stuff, or am I against it? Um, and I'm neither, to be honest. Um, have I banished? Absolutely, I have. I've banished feelings, I've banished um, toxic people out of my life. You know, so for me, my belief is as long as you're understanding you know the energy that you're putting out there you know comes back you know so if you've talked with the universe and and you've explained you know your reasoning for hexing cursing banishing um, and you're okay with the ramifications coming back you know if any um, then who am I to gatekeep? I don't really like gatekeeping. So, 
Um, and in all honesty, if somebody um, was hurting me or hurting somebody um, I care and love, whether family, uh, good like family, friends, whatever, yeah, I'm going to protect my loved ones. I'm going to protect my circle, you know, and those, you know, chosen, um, you know, magical beings that are in my circle, I'm going to protect them. So for me, that's my belief, you know, so, but it is definitely a video that I have been contemplating on doing. Um, I just want to finish reading this book. Very, very interesting. There's some things in there where I was like, oh, okay. Um, so this lady, she is a Canadian author, and uh, I believe she's out in Toronto or just outside of Toronto. And she basically talks about um, the things that um, a lot of witches in our community don't like to talk about, you know, because they feel like it, everything is all, you know, love, light, and rainbows, and unicorns, and gumdrops. Um, when reality life isn't like that you know so and I like that so stay tuned for that um, but yeah back to see again like I said ranting talking getting off subject I apologize back to which casket so this is the box um, it used to be like a black marbly box uh, now it's just black which I am mad about. I like it. It's got the little keyhole there and a little pentacle on top. And that's all their information. Um, I will, like I said, link everything, put everything down below. And ta da! So this box. I knew this is the last of our um, element box um, so we've done um, spirit we've done water we've done fire we've done air so this is earth um, I'm excited to see if we're gonna have maybe like another theme type thing that we're gonna do uh, we did the moon phase one where it was all the moon phases um, I do know which casket does watch my videos because they always comment so when you guys watch this I think doing like a box specifically on a full moon specifically on a dark moon um, like maybe specifically on each um, moon face instead of all the moon faces as a whole or at least the two most common ones that people tend to work with which is the full moon and the dark moon um, if you're not familiar that it was originally referred to as the dark moon um, and as we you know years went by it was referred to as the new moon um, I like to use the dark moon the term the dark moon so um, but yeah all right so this is the theme like I was saying earth element for June I really like the aesthetic of everything here um, so every month you get your little booklet everything in here is basically tells you everything that's in the box and kind of goes through it all um, if you take photos of your box and you um, hashtag them, hashtag witch casket, and hashtag witch casket feature, so they know that they have permission, um, your photo could be ch chosen to be put on the back of the next, the following upcoming months kind of thing. Um, you also always get an art piece like mine got a little bit bent but that's okay and I absolutely love this so it's the earth element um, sign and look at that just all the beautiful dark forest in here and so you have like a little bit of the light here but you've also got like the dark you know because it's balanced right and then you have the beautiful witch right here absolutely love that I'm gonna put that right there ah oh, and we 
have a foraging bag. I was actually just telling my friend that we needed to go for like a walk on the trails like out in Gatineau um, because I needed to do some foraging. I needed to get some pine and some cedar. I needed to get some dandelions and I have this beautiful foraging bag and it says gathering bag. Like I just look at these mushrooms. These mushrooms are so cute. I love it. I'm so excited and I it's a very good like quality bag like it's not cheaply made oh I love this love it love it all right let's rest that there and you always get a spell a ritual kit every month and one thing you'll notice about them is so whatever the color and the theme is everything in the box will be the same so the stickers packaging everything along the cards everything will all be the same which i absolutely love all right so this is a bury it ritual kit a magical ritual to help you bury your past and move on Ooh, i like that So in here, they give you everything you need for your spell or your ritual. So let's see what we have. We have a little notepad, note paper here, which I think is amazing. I'm trying to show you without the light. There we go. It says, I let go of, and then on the back, it says, witch casket. And then uh, <laughs> we have a cute little pencil that has the earth sign on it. And we have a black candle. And this looks like rosemary. All right. So this is a spell. You see what I mean? Everything ties in. So, yeah, a magical ritual to help you bury your past and move on. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, rosemary, a black candle, and a fireproof dish. Um, and then it just, you know, when you feel relaxed and at peace, take the paper and note down the things you'd like to let go and leave behind. Black candle, uh, visualize yourself you know, moving on, um, empowered, free, you know, from, you know, those things as you're letting them go. Light the paper and allow it to burn in a flame resistant dish. Um, grind the ashes together with the rosemary. And then it tells you the spell to say, which I'm not going to say because they work really hard for these. Then, it, you know, take the ash rosemary blend away from your home and bury it to signify that you are burying your past. Uh, walk away without looking back. I've done similar ones like these uh, using bay leaves as well. Um, and it's good to redo them, uh, you know, because, you know, things build up. So I absolutely love this. And what else do we have? A black sachet. And you always get a crystal. And this one is a tiger's eye. I absolutely love tiger's eye. And so does my husband. And it has the earth element on it. So now I have them all. And like I said, see, everything ties in and matches. Uh, Tiger's Eye, <clears throat> the ultimate power stone and an amazing stone for success. Tiger's Eye is a grounding stone 
uh, believe to encourage personal empowerment, courage, charisma, willpower, and clear thinking. It is also useful in setting boundaries and ensuring your own needs are recognized. It's also a very good protection stone as well. So actually I need to cleanse that because I didn't even know why I put that in there. What else do we have here? Ooh. And we have another black sachet and it looks like we have some cards. I love cards. I've gotten a few little decks from them, so I absolutely love them. What are these? These are, they look like, ah, botanical grimoire cards. And they're very thick, which is nice. Um, these beautiful botanical cards were designed with love and positive energy and with the modern witch in mind. We hope you enjoy them and find them useful in your practice. Use them to represent their individual qualities on your altar. Incorporate them into spells and rituals. Add them to your book of shadows or grimoire. Uh, mini divination aid pull a card to see what needs your focus right now so we have maple leaf rose hips fern acorn Pine needles, moss, eucalyptus, chestnuts, bark, toadstools. Thorns. Thorns are really good for um, banishing spells, um, hexing, stuff like that. Succulents, um, protection bottles. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And uh, eucalyptus. So there's 12 cards in here. That's, uh, I love that. That's actually, I actually got this casket for my eldest daughter uh, for her birthday. Her birthday was in April, but um, she is a green witch and kind of kitchen witch. Um, so she connects a lot with earth and she's also an earth um, sign, as am I, I'm a Capricorn, she's Taurus, uh, we're both earth signs. So I asked her if she wanted um, this box because I figured it would have been in June, which I was right, it was for the earth element and so hers is on its way, it hasn't come yet. I was hoping it would have been here today, but maybe Monday. So, and then we always get our pin, which obviously is the earth element. I'll have the vines on there. So now I'm gonna add it to my last one there. And we have four more items it looks like. Oh, what's this? We got some like these um, the last time uh, in the winter time I think it was um, or maybe last year anyways uh, they were silver but they were purple candles dipped in silver look at this this is beautiful 
beautiful. Nice big thick candle. Um, this is a nice small candle. I think it, it looks like it's dipped in black because there's a couple of little pieces on here. Now, can I get it back in? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to sit here and fight with you. I'll do that later. Okay, so we have a gold candle. Oh. Wow, we didn't get an incense. This is a first. Okay. Usually we get incense, but we didn't get an incense this time. So, what is this? Oh, pestle and mortar. I love it. And you see what I mean? Everything like matches. I love this. Oh. oh, I love it. This is so cute. Perfect size to fit on your altar because it's not too big. I have a bigger one here, but So ideally, like what it was saying in the spell about taking the ashes from the paper and then the rosemary and grinding it with your motor and pestle. So you just, you know, and always remember um, clockwise, which is dissolve, um, is um, what you want to bring in. So, you know, whatever energies, whatever intentions you want to draw into yourself. And then if you're banishing, it's counterclockwise, which is Wittershins, Wittershins, I believe is how it's said. So you would do counterclockwise, which is because you're banishing. So you're banishing negative energy, you're banishing whatever. Always remember that when you're doing your spell. Um, I do it in the mornings when I have my coffee. So I will stir counterclockwise, banishing any negative energy, banishing any um, negative thoughts, self-doubt, things like that before I start my day. And then I stop, I take a deep breath, and then I stir clockwise, and I welcome in this positivity, this is gonna be a positive day, I welcome in, you know, whatever. So that's how I do that. Little food for thought, you know, little magical tip. Actually, I absolutely love this box. And our last, second to last item, Magical Flower Press. Oh my God, I love this. I do the old school, you know, between the books. <laughs> so a little piece of wax paper and pile it on the books. And again, keeping with the theme, I love the mushrooms. Um, so this is a magic press. So I guess you loosen this. Um, I'm sure it tells us the instructions. Um, oh, there we go. So we loosen. Sorry, I just had to hold the little screws so I can actually loosen this. Ooh. There we go. Let's see what the little, if I can get it out. Give me a sec, guys. I'm just having some technical difficulties. I'm just trying to figure it out so I can show you guys. Um, do they, I don't know. Is it not? Oh, I guess I have to take. Okay. I thought maybe they would have slid out of um, the, the press, but um, so you have to take 
the screws completely off. So please don't lose your screws. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that sounded kind of funny. Um, yeah, because it looks like you have to take all the screws off in order to take the, um, the little plates out. So let's see what the little plates look like. And I actually have a rose bush in my backyard that is starting to bloom. So that's a little cardboard. Oh, I love this. So there we go. Little kind of papers, but almost like poster boards to put your flowers on. And then cardboard. So, and then it's the same thing. It's two of the papers and then a cardboard and then two papers and then a cardboard. Um, I like that. Cause that's, you know, the old school way of doing it, you know, in your book, you would put a piece of um, either parchment paper or wax paper um, in between the flower and your book and you would just put it a bunch of books on top oh, I'm just trying <laughs> I'm trying to get it in there there we go okay so let's maybe so I'm excited to use this. Um, so when you're drying, Reggae. Sorry guys, my dog's in here. Um, when you're drying uh, your flowers, um, they keep their like shape and all of that. Um, So you can put them in your book of shadows. So let's say you're, you know, doing a page in your book of shadows of um, maybe, oops, oops, look at me, look at me. Um, maybe you're doing a, a page in your book of shadows of um, herbs, you know, and, and flowers and plants and stuff, you know, so you uh you want to actually add them okay i'm going to be sitting here forever fixing this i'm not doing that i'll do it after just it's kind of like the ocd in me like i need it to all be matching and kind of lined up and not all like messed up so i'll fix that later sorry guys um but yeah if you're doing your book of shadow pages and you know you want to do page uh on roses um, you know what their magical properties are what their medicinal properties are things like that so you would put some roses in there in your um, flower press and uh, as soon as it's dry you'd be able to put it in your book of shadows um, you, can, you can use um, like a clear glue to put it on uh, Mod Podge I believe is what it's called um, you know just to kind of seal it on there um, there we go. but yeah so and then you can even do leaves uh, you know fern leaves maple leaves um, if you can find like a small enough maple leaf to put it in there um, but yeah it's it's really good for like your book of shadows you know and then last but not least 
hour scroll and you see what I mean everything matches right down to the sticker so I'm usually very good at peeling these stickers um, but I think it was last month and the month before I know last month for sure um, the stickers were like super super sticky so it uh, definitely was a little challenging but I did it I managed to do it without ripping a book of shadow sheets and we have success I'm just gonna see if I can take the whole thing off Ooh, can I So for me, what I do, the stickers that come on the book of shadow sheets, oh. Ooh. this one is like really difficult. There we go. The stickers, um, on the book of shadow sheets um, I take them off and I actually put them in uh, the binder that I have here for them so and again like it just matches everything matches like the little mountains it looks like literally looks like a map and I absolutely love this um, so it talks a bit about the earth element. Um, earth is the element of stability, nurturing, fertility, endurance, and strength. Uh, connect with this element and magical work relating to any of these subjects. Or just when you feel you need to ground yourself and feel more at one with the earth. Um, talks about crystal association. So it gives you a list of some crystals that are associated with the earth element. Um, herbs and plants associated with the earth element and then it gives you a list of um, herbs um, that are uh, associated with the earth element um, I absolutely love this box um, I thought there would have been an incense though. I even got my incense holder out because I thought, okay, let's see what kind of earthy incense we're gonna get. Um, but you know what? I get it, it's cool. Like, I mean, we got a lot of big items in here. You know, a foraging bag, a motor, pestle motor, we got a flower press, like, cards, you know, so. Um, I go over these one to make sure everything is in there um, I don't think they've ever forgotten an item in the box but I have gotten an item that was uh, shattered um, and they were super super good at sending me a replacement right away and some little extra goodies and stuff which I thought was awesome which absolutely did not need to do so all right hi everyone <clears throat> like I said everything just ties in and matches um, our June witch casket is another in our popular elemental series this month we honor earth we hope this casket will help you all to feel more grounded and connected to this magical element Please read through this pamphlet and as always allow, as it will allow you to familiarize yourself with this month's items and any safety information. Please remember to tag us in your social media posts and use the hashtag, um, hashtag witch casket so we can easily find and share your magical and creative posts. We notice and appreciate every single one of them and we hope you all 
know how loved and treasured you were. Until next time, be well, Devin, Ella. And like I said, they do uh, comment on your videos. Um, they've commented on every single video um, for Witch Casket that I've tagged. Um, any picture or posting I, I may do. Um, you know, sometimes I'll do a reading and I'll be like, and I'll name the cards that I use. And I have one of their um, affirmation decks here for the moon phases. And I'll always say uh, Witch Casket um, moon phase affirmation cards. And I'll always put at Witch Casket, you know, just giving um, acknowledgement and appreciation for their cards. And to show them, like, I actually, I use them. Um, and they always comment on my pictures, my posts, like anything. All right, so we have... Um, wooden pestle and mo and motor or motor and pestle depending on how you say it um place your herbs in the motor and pestle in the motor holding the motor firmly uh grind the rounded end of the pestle down into the herbs and roll it against the motor while applying firm pressure Grind until you've reached your desired consistency. Grind clockwise for attraction spells and counterclockwise for banishing spells. Made from acai wood, which is a highly sustainable wood known for its protective magical properties. Um, wooden, magical wooden flower press. Our flower press. I'm not going to lift that because... So, our flower press. Um, just because i got to put the screws back in. Um, our enchanting flower press will enable you to dry your flowers, leaves, and herbs for use in your magical workings. Your book of shadows, etc. Um, gathering bag. Our gathering bag. Uh, okay. Whether you use your gathering bag for summer days or foraging in the woods, or for carrying your magical supplies, our exclusive bag is destined to become an everyday essential. Uh, botanical grimoire cards. Our beautiful botanical grimoire cards. Alrighty. Um, the third in our highly sought after series of magical grimoire decks, this beautiful botanical, these beautiful botanical cards were designed with love and positive energy and with the modern witch in mind. We hope you enjoy them and find them useful in your practice. Use them to represent their individual qualities on your altar, incorporate them into spells and rituals, add them to your book of shadows um, or grimoire. Um, can also be used as a mini divination aid. Pull a card to see what needs your focus right now. Then we have the uh, Bury It Ritual Kit. Enclosed within this black envelope is a magical ritual to help you bury your past and move on. Here's what it contains. Earth Element Pencil, which casket exclusive, paper, rosemary, black candle, and instructions. Which we did get another candle. I uh, I believe it was a moon phase one um, gold coated black ritual candle our gold coated black ritual candle um, black to banish gold for success use this black candle for any spell or ritual for banishing letting go hex breaking etc this unique black ritual candle is dipped in gold to add extra power and success to your ritual elemental tiger's eye crystal and info card our tiger's eye there um i already read the properties for the the, the tiger's eye crystal enamel elemental enamel pin our pin Celebrate the magic of earth with our beautiful elemental enamel pin, parchment scroll, our parchment scroll, 
parchment scroll. Um, and then magical earth art print. We hope you love this bewitching art print, which has lovingly created, which was lovingly created by our in-house designer exclusively for your earth casket. All spells and rituals are created by Witch Casket's co-founder, Deb, an experienced practicing witch, exclusively for Witch Casket. And that's our beautiful art print. Um, and that is the artist there. Jeez, guys that would be my phone and I have no idea who it is so so that was um, witch caskets um, subscription box for the month of June which was um, connecting to the element of earth so it's their earth box the last one for our element boxes um, and yeah I absolutely love the box uh, favorite item I'd say the flower press and the foraging bag um, most definitely just because I don't have either um, but I absolutely love everything that's in the box um, and I'm super excited to uh, start working with them so um, but yeah that is a witch casket um, if you guys get this box what was your favorite item um, put a comment in the comments down below let me know what your favorite item was um, if you do get witch casket how long have you been getting witch casket for and um, what was your favorite item in your box um, and if you do get witch casket uh, if you just started getting witch casket um, what did you think of your first box if this was your first box and uh, yeah um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button don't forget to give my video a thumbs up as it makes my videos easier for other uh, beautiful magical beings to find um, so we can uh, you know grow our circle and um, yeah I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and um, yeah, love, light, magic. Bye my magical beings. Until next time, blessed be.